They're 9 0. They're the KIIF champions, and they are hungry for the school's first ever state title. The Kapa'a Warriors had a long road this season to get to where they're at, and it's a journey that they say could not have been done without the brotherhood they've built. You know, I'm proud of them the way they stick together, um, the way the offensive coaches bonded and put everything together today, and, you know, um, I'm, we're blessed. I think it's the bond of the team for sure. Just everybody gets along, everybody works hard, pushes each other, and it's kind of part of the reason why they're so good. And it's those bonds that have helped the Kapa offense thrive this year. With an up-tempo squad that averages over four touchdowns a game, the Warriors say it's more about the team instead of individual stars. I don't think we have any key, key players. I think everyone plays a big role in our, in our offense. It's just having a good day for the offense, just being able to work together and just keep our heads high, you know. Everybody on this offense contributes. You know, we have a thing called next man up, and that's what we did. Um, there's a bond in this team, you can't break. We have multiple weapons on this team, you can't even name them. They're all weapons. I think our O-line and wide receivers really stepped it up for blocking and they're a big part of this game and why we we're so successful. Also the defense, they, they just shut it down. Probably one of the bigger storylines coming into the title game is the Kapala defense, which has held teams to seven shutouts this season and has not allowed a single offensive touchdown in nine games. It's, it's just a sense of relief in the back of my mind, you know, just knowing that they have our backs 24-7, just they held it down. I'm pretty surprised. <laughs> I'm not, well, I shouldn't be surprised of how, how, how good these guys have been. No one has ever put up points against these guys. I think we got one of the better um, defensive coordinators in the state in Mike Tressler. Um, our defensive staff is also all good, you know, so everybody works so hard. Um, the boys are committed, they're focused, you know, they work really hard. So that's why we're so successful on defense. When the Warriors step on the field against Radford, it will be the team's first ever appearance in the state title game. They made it to the semifinals last year before losing to Iolani 29-24. It's a loss that's still on their mind coming into Friday night. Oh, to get over this hump, it's, it's amazing. Last year, it was, you know, it was devastating losing to Iolani, but man, it just feels great to be able to just get this opportunity to try and take, you know, take this championship home back to Kauai. They were the better team that day. So we've um, made a commitment to getting back at least to the semifinals and win the state championship. So everything that we've done, that we plan to do up until now, we've done it. So we just got to finish now. It's all about finishing. And as great as a championship would feel, the team says this is more than just winning a title. It's about representing their school, community, and the entire island of Kauai as well. It's just such a great feeling knowing that we have so much supporters that are behind our backs. And it's great that the community can come out here and just come together even closer. Oh man, I mean, I want to do this so bad for the community. I want to do it for our fans. And I want to do it for the island, you know. We want to do it, not I. We want to do it and, and I feel that we have a good, great chance of doing it. The Warriors take on the Rams this Friday night at Aloha Stadium. Avon Santiago, ScoringLive.com.